Hi, I'm Billy from Sweet for Darling and today I'm going to show you how to make this guitar cake. This is a life-size Gibson 335 guitar. It's a big guitar, it's a big cake. Now I've used two 12-inch square cakes and one 9-inch square cake and I've made templates. For a cake like this, templates are key, they are everything. Now for the main shape of the guitar, I've drawn onto foam board or foam core um, which is like a foam centre surrounded by kind of a plasticky paper. You can sanitise it so it's good to use as cake boards and it's so easy to cut. You just use a scalpel so I just drew on it and then cut my shape out with a scalpel. Now I'm doing my guitar in two parts. My foam core isn't very thick so if I did the whole guitar when I go to move it it's just going to flex and bend. So I've done it in two parts, the main body of the guitar and then the fretboard and the head of the guitar. So I've cut out my two sections and then I have used these to cut out my cake to the right shape. Once I have got my cake the right shape, I'm then going to double use these boards as the actual base boards of the cake. So I'm going to flip the boards and put them underneath the cake instead. Once you're happy with your cake shape and they've got their filling in, I've used jam butter cream on this one, but obviously it could be anything. You then need to crumb coat it. Now normally, as you know, I crumb coat my cakes with buttercream. This time I'm using ganache for the sole reason that I cannot physically fit this in the fridge, not either half of it, I can't get it in there or the freezer. So ganache is, is really cold here at the moment anyway, but even if it wasn't, given enough time, ganache will set on its own. Buttercream won't, it will sort of crust, but it won't set firmly. Ganache will be a nice firm foundation for me to lay my fondant over. So that's why I'm using ganache here. Once it's set, I've rubbed a little bit of shortening all over it and then laid my fondant over. So I've used red for the main body of the guitar and then white for the fretboard end. Now at this stage I transferred both halves of my cake to a massive MDF board. I didn't have a cake board big enough so I went and bought a big piece of wood and I cut it to the correct size. And again because the board was so big it was a better option for me to ice the board around the cake so I've done this fabric effect icing. Now again that's kind of a tutorial of itself so if you want to know how to do a fabric effect board just let me know. But it is just sections of icing sort of laid and pleated at the same time and then I've left a plain section for the message to go so I didn't want that being all over a roughly pleats. But it's quite a handy way of doing it. It's a big old board to ice if you were going to do it all in one go. So doing it in a fabric effect around it means the cake could be on there and then I could get the icing up to the edge of it and I didn't have to stress. I haven't even got a surface this big in here. It's bigger than my work table here. So it would just be a bit difficult. So it's a better option for me to do the fabric effect. It does look quite nice, doesn't it? More of a presentation. So I then used a sugar extruder or a sugar gun with some ivory cream coloured icing and did the line around the, the body of the guitar. I just used a little bit of sugar glue. You can use water for this. I put a little bit of CMC into water and mix that around. It just it thickens the water and it does turn it into a sugar glue. So I just painted some of that around there and then stuck my trim around and then you need more templates, always templates. For my templates I literally just went onto Google, found this guitar and then cropped it down to the bits I needed and ex enlarged them to the size I needed. So these sections here, the um, pit guard, all, all these bits, everything that needed cutting to a certain shape and size, I had a template for. So these sections, I used my template. My item was set by this point actually. I iced this cake the day before. And ideally when you're cutting out things from icing you want it to be soft and it's much easier to peel away but it's fine if your scalpel is sharp enough it will get through there so I laid my template down, took my scalpel around and then lifted out the piece of icing inside and you'll see the ganache underneath. So I then used some white fondant and cut in the same shape and engraved some lines in with my scalpel and then painted over it in a, like a honey gold wash that so made that wood effect inside which sort of gives the illusion of there being depth there and, is hollow in in this actual guitar it's hollow and there is that wood effect behind it so that's what we decided to do 
Now for the fretboard I've used brown icing cut to a big long strip and then stuck on the end of my cake for the fretboard obviously. Now I didn't want the frets to stand too proud of the fretboard so I've indented lines and then piped in them so it sort of sits quite level. I didn't want it to be too bulbous above it. Then I used white, tiny little white circles for the position markers and just stuck those with a bit of sugar glue. And then more templates, always more templates for cutting out things like the pick guard and the pickups. Now the pick guard and the pickups I cut out of um, flat paste or gum paste. Again, I've added the trim from the sugar gum. The silver parts, I've indented little circles on here and then pushed a palette knife, a tiny palette knife end in to make it look like screws and then painted those sections in silver. And then things like the bridge, I have just rolled sausage advising and then cut out the relevant sections, added more screws which are just little circles of icing with a line indented through. Painted them silver and stuck those on with a bit of sugar glue. The head of the guitar is black fondant with another template. I'm telling you, templates are key here. It's the only way to do it and make it look accurate. So I've cut that out and stuck it on again with a bit of shortening. Then I've used more templates for the logo, the Gibson name, the little pattern that's on here, just to mark out my outline of where I want my paint to go. And then I have used silver paints to actually get everything on there to make it look like the logo and the name. The tuning keys were semicircles of fondant and then they're sort of pinched to an angle to give that little ridge to them. And then I push them on a cocktail stick and push that inside the cake. I haven't used any glue underneath this, so technically, as a bit of fun, he can still tune his cake guitar, which I think is really cool. I think that's really cool. <laughs> now the strings. Initially, I planned to do these strings edible. Um, two ways I thought of doing it, one was a sugar extruder and one was um, piping. Either of those options, really, really difficult to make it look like that actually strings. If I had piped them, it, they would have drooped down here, drooped down here, then laying on the cake, directly on the cake, and it just it does, doesn't look quite right. So the best option was florist wire. Now florist wires only come about this long, about 30 centimetres long. So I've had to use a few. Now the first set will push into the bridge and I added a tiny bit of royal icing which I've painted silver. It's not noticeable at all, it just keeps it held there. And then I've lined them along to the fretboard and where they've ended, I've added a bit more royal icing just to hold them there. Then I've matched up a second wire to each one. Again, a little bit of royal icing and then I've ended them where the nut is. So I've trimmed all the wires and then I've, I've cut a section for the nut, so a, a thin rectangle and stuck that onto the end of the fretboard and between the head on, on the neck. For the ends of the wires that would be tuned, I have wrapped the wire around some narrow pliers to make a loop at the end and then looped it around these parts, I don't know what these parts are called. And then I've followed each wire down so that it finishes on the nut. Now the little blobs of royal icing that I added I've done in the um, silvery grey colour of the frets anyway, but I've added just a tiny bit of silver so it sort of continues along with the line of the wire so it isn't overly noticeable at all, but it does hold those work wires in place. Then it was just the final touches left, so things like the tuning and the volume knobs, those are just a piece of black fondant rolled and pinched around the base to widen them out, and then tiny little white lines painted round, and then these little extra bits. I don't know what they are or what they're for, I think. One of them might be an output something. Anyway, I added these bits. And then I sprayed the whole cake with some glaze to, to give it a little bit of a sheen, get rid of any cornflower marks that there were. And then as well, I'll just let you know the message in case you're wondering is click sticks and the music notes are tappets. All cut out with black flower paste or gum paste. That's how to make guitar cake. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button so there'll be new videos every Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.